All right, 9-1, graphing quadratic functions. We take the function x squared plus 4x plus 3, and this is what we've been factoring, and we put it in form of ax plus by equals c. This is called standard form. The reason we do this is because we're going to be graphing this and it's going to make this, um, it's going to look like a U almost, and it's going to turn at some point and then make a mirror image of itself. To find out where it turns, or where the, excuse me, where the mirror image is, I'm going to find what's called the axis of symmetry. And to find that, that's going to be x equals negative b over 2a. So in this case, the b is my 4, because that's the number that's in front of the y. And my a is the number that's in front of the x squared, which in this case, because there's not one, it's just a 1. So that's going to be negative 4 over 2 times 1, which is negative 4 over 2, which reduces all the way to x equals negative 2. Okay, so my axis of symmetry is x equals negative 2. So I'm going to go over on a graph. And where is x equal to negative 2? And that's going to be two spaces to the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a dashed line on x equals negative 2. That's telling me that this thing I'm about to draw is going to turn there. Now, I want to find out where exactly it turns. Does it turn somewhere up above here? Does it turn down here somewhere? Okay, so I'm going to take my x equals 2 value and I'm going to go back to my original equation which is x squared plus 4x plus 3 and I'm going to substitute it in everywhere I see an x. So this is going to be 2 squared. Uh, excuse me, not 2, that was negative 2. Sorry, so it's going to be negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 3. So two, negative 2 squared is going to be 4 and then positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, and then plus 3. So 4 minus 8 is negative 4, and negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So where on that line is negative 1? Well, we're one space down right here. So that's the turning point. That's called the vertex. Okay, the vertex is the turning point. So now what's it going to do? Well, I'm going to go one space to the right and one space to the left. So one space to the right is going to be here. Oop, let me get a little better drawing there. One space to the right and one space to the left. Now, what's the x value of the space to the, to the right of that line? That's an x value of negative 1. So I'm going to take negative 1 and plug it into my equation. So that's going to be negative 1 squared, which is 1, plus 4 times negative 1, which is minus 4, and then plus 3. So 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So that's actually... going to be at negative 1 
0. Now, treat this as a mirror because that's one space over. Then our next point is one space over. Now I'll go one more space to where x equals 0. And when I plug x equals 0 into that thing, it's going to be 0 squared, which is 0, times 4 times 0, which is 0, plus 3. So my answer is just 0, 3. Again, mirror image, two spaces over, two spaces over. And I have just created my first parabola. It looks something like that. And that is x squared, yikes. Plus 4x plus 3. Okay, so we'll do uh, we'll do one more in class tomorrow, but that's a pretty good start. So we'll see you in the morning.